we will now discuss the solution of a problem from the section analysis the problem is on the point wise convergence and the uniform convergence of series of functions this question has appeared in csir net national eligibility test held on 26th november 2020 and the question is from the section c and it carries 4.75 marks the problem is consider two series capital a of x is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity x power n into 1 minus x and b of x is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power of n into x power n into 1 minus x where x belongs to the closed and bounded interval 0 comma 1 which of the following are true option 1 both a x and b x converge point wise option 2 both a x and b x converge uniformly option 3 a x converges uniformly but b x does not option 4 b x converges uniformly but a of x does not let's now discuss the solution of the problem we first consider the second series that is capital b of x that is sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power of n into x power n into 1 minus x where x belongs to the closed and bounded interval 0 comma 1 now we recall a test called drisley test for uniform convergence of series of functions if a n x n n is equal to 1 to infinity and b n x n is equal to 1 to infinity are sequences of functions on a given domain d contained in the set of real numbers satisfying first condition if sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity a n x has uniformly bounded partial sums now the meaning of this is first you consider capital a n of x which is the sum of the first n terms of the series that is the nth partial sum capital a n of x is equal to sigma k is equal to 1 to n a k x that is the nth partial sum and mod of a n x is less than or equal to m and this m is independent of x and n is independent of x and n that means mod of a n x is less than or equal to m for all n and for all x then we say the given series sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity a n x has uniformly bounded partial sums condition 2 b n x tends to 0 uniformly on d the meaning of that is b n x tends to 0 as n tends to infinity for all x belongs to the domain d condition c let us bn plus 1x is less than or equal to bn x for all x in d and for all n in n then the series sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity an x into bn x the product converges uniformly on d let us consider our series b of x is equal to sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity a n x into b n x where a n x we will take it as minus 1 to the power of n and b n x we will take it as x power n into 1 minus x where x belongs to 0 comma 1 so we have the series capital b of x and we have written capital b of x as sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity a n x into b n x where a n x is equal to minus 1 to the power of n and b n x is x power n into 1 minus x 
let's talk about the condition 1. Now, notice that an of x is minus 1 to the power of n and it is independent of x. And uh, capital an of x is the nth partial sum that is equal to the sum of the first n terms k is equal to 0 to n a k x and that will be equal to that will be equal to sigma k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 to the power of k is equal to 1 plus sigma k is equal to 1 to n minus 1 to the power of k and this will be when k is even this this sigma all the sum of all those terms will be 0 and you will get a 1 and if k is odd there is 1 minus 1 left over here that will cancel with this plus 1 and you get a, a 0 if k is odd. Therefore mod of a n x is less than or equal to 1 and this 1 is independent of x and n. Thus, the series, the series sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a n x has uniformly bounded partial sums. So, that is the verification of the first condition. Now, note that b n of x is equal to x power n into 1 minus x tends to 0 for all x belongs to the closed end bound interval 0 to 1 as n tends to infinity. Now, see, suppose we take x is equal to 0. So, this whole thing is 0 tends to 0 as n tends to infinity and if x is equal to 1, 1 minus x becomes 0, this tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. And if x is not 0, not 1, then x belongs to the open interval 0 to 1, then x power n as n tends to infinity tends to 0. So, b n x is equal to x power n into 1 minus x tends to 0 for all x belongs to 0 comma 1 the closed and bound interval as n tends to infinity. Thus, the second condition is satisfied that is b n x tends to 0 for all x as n tends to infinity that is uniformly on 0 comma 1. Now, we verify the third condition. So, we have already seen that uh, sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a in x has uniformly bounded partial sums. The second condition b n x tends to 0 uniformly on 0 to 1. And the third condition b n plus 1 x minus b n x is equal to b n plus 1 x is x to the power of n plus 1 into 1 minus x minus b n x is x power n into 1 minus x. From these two, x power n into 1 minus x take common. So, if you take common x power n into 1 minus x and you are left here a x and here a minus 1. So, x power n into 1 minus x into x minus 1. So, 1 minus x into 1 minus x make it that 1 minus x whole square a minus will come out. That is minus x power n into 1 minus x whole square. And uh, See, if x is equal to 0, this whole thing is 0, is equal to 0. If x is equal to 1, 1 minus x becomes 0 and it is 0. If x e belongs to the open interval 0 comma 1, then x power n is positive, 1 minus x whole square is positive and there is a minus sign before it and uh, on the whole it becomes negative. So, minus x power n into 1 minus x whole square is less than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to the closed end bound interval 0 to 1 for all n belongs to n. Therefore, b n plus 1 x is less than or equal to b n x for all x belongs to the closed end bound interval 0 to 1 for all n in n. So, all the three conditions of Drishle test is satisfied. Therefore, by Drishle test for uniform convergence of series of functions, the series capital Bx is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power of n into x power n to 1 minus x is uniformly convergent on the closed end boundary interval 0 comma 1. But we know uniform convergence always implies pointwise convergence. 
So therefore, B of x is also pointwise converted. So thus, B of the given series, B of x is pointwise convergent and uniformly convergent. So thus, B of x is uniformly and pointwise convergent on the closed and bound interval 0, 1. Now let us go for the first series. The first series is capital A of x is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity x power n into 1 minus x, where x belongs to the closed and bound interval 0 to 1. Consider the nth partial sum Sn of x. Sn of x is equal to the nth partial sum is equal to sigma k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 into x power k into 1 minus x. And that will be 1 minus x take common sigma k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 and that will be 1 minus x into when expanded 1 plus x plus x square plus etc x to the power of n minus 1. But now this 1 plus x plus x square plus etc x to the power of n, n, n minus 1 can be written as 1 minus x to the power of n by 1 minus x. And this 1 minus x 1 minus x cancels and you are left with 1 minus x to the power of n. Thus S n x converges to S of x as n tends to infinity where S of x is 1 if 0 less than or equal to x less than 1 is equal to 0 if x is equal to 1. Now let's, let us see suppose x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 then S n of x will, will converge to 1 when x is equal to 0. When x belongs to the open interval 0 to 1 0 to 1, then x power n as n tends to infinity will tend to 0 and thereby S n x tends to 1 as n tends to infinity. So, this is true. If x is equal to 1, 1 minus 1 to the power of 1 n is 1 minus 1 is 0. So, this is 0. So, S n x converges to S of x as n tends to infinity where S of x is 1 if 0 less than or equal to x less than 1 and s of x is 0 if x is equal to 1. So, this s of x is called the sum function of this series when it is converging pointwise. This shows that the series a of x is pointwise convergent to s of x where this s of x is called the sum function on the closed and bound interval 0 to 1. Thus, the first series e of x is pointwise convergent and converges to the sum function s of x which is a, a discontinuous function. And uh, why it is discontinuous? See s of x is not continuous at x is equal to 1. What is x is equal to 1? It is the end point, the right end point of the interval. And uh, it is discontinuous. Why? Because the the left hand limit at 1 that is limit x tends to 1 from left side is 1 and whereas at x is equal to 1 it is 0. You, you are not supposed to take the right hand limit here because there is no right hand limit. So the left hand limit is not equal to the value of the function at x is equal to 1. Therefore it is not continuous at x is equal to 1. Therefore, it is a discontinuous function on the closed and bound interval 0 to 1. We have the series, the first series, and we have seen that E of x converges point wise to S of x. And notice that each term of this series A x, what, what is each term? Each term is x power n into 1 minus x. This is a polynomial. So, each term because every polynomial is a continuous function. So, each term is a continuous function on the closed and boundary interval 0 to 1. Now, look at uh, S of x, the sum function, which we have already seen that it is a discontinuous function on 0 to 1. Let us recall a famous theorem called continuity theorem. This theorem states, if each f n x, n belongs to n, is continuous on E, and the series sigma f n x is uniformly convergent on E, then its sum function S of x is also continuous on E. So, suppose 
that series capital A of x converges uniformly to S of x on the closed and bound, closed and bounded interval 0, 1. Then using this by this continuity theorem, the sum function S, x, S of x must be continuous on the closed and bounded interval 0, 1 which is not a contradiction. So from this contradiction A of x is not uniformly convergent on the closed and bounded interval 0 to 1. Thus, both A of x and B of x converge pointwise and B of x converge uniformly but A of x does not that is A of x is not uniformly convergent on 0 to 1. Let us look at uh, our options. Option 1 says both A of x and B of x converge pointwise which is true. Option 4 B of x converges uniformly but A of x does not and uh, therefore the options 1 and 4 are true the options 2 and 3 are not true. So that is the discussion of the solution of the problem on the pointwise convergence and uniform convergence of series of functions and I hope that you have understood the solution of this problem and uh, concentrate on the concepts of pointwise convergence of series and uniform convergence of series and work out some problems related to this topic. I wish you all the best. Thank you.